Do you suffer from floppy mirror syndrome? <laughs> then we at Clark's Workshop may be able to help you with a drug-free repair. Ooh. Hi guys, welcome back. First proper drive today uh, since the MOT, so I've only done about 40-45 miles. Um, all been good. Um, the only well, I had hot, some hot brakes on the back. Um, I had to do a little adjustment on the handbrake, which I think I showed you on a previous video. All I did was backed off the, the handbrake adjustment underneath a couple of turns. It gave me an extra click, so I'm three clicks on handbrake, and it was fine all the way back, so that's good. Um, but I did have the floppy mirror syndrome um, driving back, and the old mirror flopped in. So we're going to see if we can tie them up. Okay? All right, there's that little adjusting screw right under the middle of the bus there. So all I did, please focus, is I just backed that one off a couple of turns. And that was it, it was fine, so it wouldn't fire out at all. There we go, so here we've got our floppy mirror, held on by two, I can't remember, I think they're M6 screws, they're a cross head. So we'll take them off and have a look. I know these won't be too tight because I've had them off before. But if they are really, really tight, make sure you've got um, the right screwdriver for the head, not too small, because um, they do round out really easy. And I've seen people having to um, drill them out, which is a right pain. And if they're too stiff, that's broken up. Oh, poo. That's what happens when you do one-handed stuff. Well, what I was saying is if they're too tight, use a bit of um, easing oil on them. Don't force them because they do shear off. But also something to learn is don't try and do it one-handed. <laughs> oh, bugger. Never mind. Anyway, when you get it off, it this will seem a lot stiffer because there's you haven't got the leverage on it so you know don't be fooled okay there is an adjust little adjuster here little 10 mil now most of the time you can get away with just nipping it up if they're particularly bad you might have to take this apart I've done this I've taken these apart before um, just cleaned up there's a little ball in there see there's a little ball goes in I've just cleaned it up um, and um, put them back together. So, just gonna try nipping it up a bit. Oh, he's tight. And then, seeing if it will hold. I'll just put my soft jaws in the vise so I don't get to damage this pristine uh, mirror. We'll see what it's like. See, so that's stiffened it up pretty quite a lot already. I'll give it a bit more I think. You can see it. That's a lot better. Still needs a bit more. There's a loose bit there. It's only pulling up on a spring, so it should be okay. Right, now that is getting tighter. So what you can do is try it back on the bus and give it a wiggle, see what you think. Okay, let's try it. Right, so there it is back on. I used two hands to put it back on because uh, it's, well, it's already broken, so it doesn't matter. But there we go. Anyway, it's a bit stiffer, less likely to blow in. It doesn't always fix it, but it's got two chances and it's cheaper than buying a new mirror. Okay? Right, cheers, Anne!